Hello, welcome. I know you're excited because this is the first uh, ski doo in the fleet. Well, I actually shouldn't say that because uh, th th there's been there's been a few before. Three, now that I think about it. A Summit 700, a Summit 800, and a Summit 670 before this one, which is not a Summit. I know you ski doo guys are excessively happy. Let's take a look and see what we have here, what we picked up last week. Here is what we are looking at today. It is a ski do sitting among old Whitey and of course the turbo sitting over there. It's lonely. This unit is actually all here. Oh, I have the windshield for it too. It's in the pickup. Needs replacing a little bit. I'm still working on the year on it a little bit. I think it's a 70, but I'm still working on that just a little bit. But at this point, we're just going to take off the hood. We're gonna look into it. We're gonna see what this thing needs. This this actually might be the first motor rebuild that we ever do on the channel. So exciting stuff. We got some stuff to do on it before we try to fire it. We're going to scope the cylinders. Uh, we might throw a little bit of two-stroke oil in there afterwards just to you know, help, uh, help those rings out a little bit. The motor does turn. I've, I've given it a few pulls myself. Let's get the hood off. Throw sort of scope down there and let's see if we can get it running. So this is a very early model sled. Uh, this is the cockpit. You're not missing anything. There's no covers, nothing like that. Uh, this is the carburetor. Uh, that's what's left of the air filter and spark plugs go in there. This, this is it. You can change the spark plugs while you're giving her down the trail if you wanted. We have one ski up front. That, that's half of the tunnel. You want to see the other half? The other half of the tunnel is over here. Two tracks. That's right. Go ahead and uh, take off the hood here. The gas cap is part of uh, what helps keep it on. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing here because it's not going to take me long. And you really get to see how simplistic some of these old designs are. Sleds kind of used to be the most basic piece of equipment, and this this is an example of that. Uh, today, new snowmobiles are probably one of the most advanced machines uh, that are on the market today. We've got four strokes, we got turbos, and then we got this thing. So I'll go over it because it's pretty cool, and you get to see how basic and how these things are actually kind of put together. We'll just start at the front here. So we have our fuel tank, of course. Now. There's no remote reservoir, there's no oil pump, there's nothing like that. Um, we be mixing fuel in this thing. So we are just like your chainsaw, just like your uh, weed whacker, whatever. Uh, we'll be uh, pre-mixing for this thing because there, there is no oil injection system on it at all. Moving up from there, we have our, uh, our steering linkage. There's really no adjustment on it. Uh, if it's not aligned, it's uh, it's bent. Exhaust system, super primitive. Uh, it is a twin, so you have two exhaust pipes going to the expansion chamber, the can. Uh, they're really the same thing in this. There's no real distinguishment between them. And then uh, dumps into the tunnel. We got a tunnel dump. Here's where things actually kind of get pretty cool on this thing. Um, this over here, this down here, this guy, <laughs> this guy's actually a gearbox. Uh, very few sleds have them. There are actually a number of utility sleds today that um, do have a gearbox in them. Then they have gears, you get like high, low, and ultra low. Uh, this is a sled from uh, the 60s or designed in the 60s. We have forward, neutral, reverse. So yeah, we have, uh, we have reverse in this because of uh, this forward reverse gearbox here. Wiring. Super primitive, I got, it's a ground. Oh, uh, we have an electric starter, which is uh, which is pretty cool. I'm touching the solenoid, this is the starter. Um, pretty freaking cool there, uh, especially for something this old, having a uh, having an electric start and reverse and two tracks, pretty big deal. Uh, Air-cooled engine, of course, got the fan shroud. I gave it like a little pull and a bunch of stuff come out, so we'll have to deal with that. Recoil does work on it. Uh, the motor does turn. I haven't really tried to crank it or anything too hard yet because I'd like to have a look in there and maybe maybe uh, give those rings a little bit of uh, a little bit of candy before we get in there. We have throttle. 
And we have brake, and besides needing a new cable, both of which work. Uh, spark plugs, fan shroud, engines under there. Uh, carburetor is sitting right here, so single carb. We got our secondary clutch right next to our lovely rusted brake router. And lovely rusted primary clutch as well. Um, but really the amazing thing is everything is here besides being dirty and rusty, like everything is here. So we'll have to, we'll have to give this thing a wash. Oh, so if I go up here, put it in gear, bam. Now we move. Movable uh, backrest, of course. This whole thing is storage. Um, I haven't been through it yet. We got spare belts, probably fire starter, rope, tools, whatever you need around the farm, I guess. Uh, if you don't know where the battery is going, the battery tray is uh, this. So I kind of have it lifted up here a little bit. It's it's really it's really tough to see in here without actually pulling pulling anything apart, but no slide rails. We need to get some new bogies for it. We got definitely some uh, dry rot on the rubber, um, but uh, no slide rails. So basically each one of these sits on, you can kind of see it back there, its own tor it's basically a torsion spring. We're gonna get a little fuel. We're gonna mix up a little bit of fuel for it. Like, we're gonna see if it runs first of all, uh, after we scope it and uh, maybe we'll do a compression test too. Oh, what, you guys are coming? All right, uh, it turns out that uh, my bore scope is uh, a little screwed up. So let's uh, go ahead and we will pull a couple of spark plugs out and see what those look like instead here, huh? Looks, uh, looks freaking new. Looks new too. Two stroke oil down each hole. I want to give those rings a little bit of a help. This thing probably hasn't ran in... Ooh, 20 years, 30 years. All right, uh, we're gonna do a compression test now. We might have like a little bit of funny numbers cause we did add that oil in there and it can give you a, uh, it can give you more compression than what you really have, but uh, that's okay. That's low. We're only hitting 60. Cylinder one. Why can't you be more like cylinder two? All right, so that's uh, that's not what we wanted to see, but it's uh, what I expected to see. Let's see if we can give it a prime. Maybe maybe we can hear it turn over. Come on, screen. show me. Obviously, we didn't get as far as I would have liked to get in this video, but uh, hey, I'm, I'm learning this machine at the exact same rate you are. I haven't looked over anything on this thing yet. I, I'm new to it too. It's not much, but uh, it made some smoke and that tells me a lot. It tells me that the electrical is working, tells me that we've got some form of compression. Um, next episode, we are going to head into the motor on this thing. Uh, top end first uh, first engine rebuild that we've done on the channel. That's a wrap there Thanks everybody for watching. You know what to do do all of that fun stuff. I don't need to tell you uh, See everybody in the next video. I know you skidoo guys are all hot and horny for this thing I can I can hear you through the TV. You're all you're gonna horned up that Matt's got his own skidoo now. Bye everybody